Aaron, it feels a bit of a, an age since we lasted the game, but it's only been about 10 or so days since the Fall Cup match, but it's been a good chance with the Celtic B game being off for everybody to recharge the batteries and be preparing to go for this weekend against Peterhead. Yeah, definitely. I think you're right. It does seem like a, like a while ago. Um, last week we had a tough week with having a game. Um, we had a couple of days off as well and it, it's gave a few boys a chance to get back to fitness. Um, there was a reserve game as well in that period, so yeah, it's been sort of a nice wee break, but looking forward to the game starting back. As you said, there was a reserve match which you took part in um, against a strong Livingston reserve side, um, and that must have been really pleasing that you were able to go in there as one of the more experienced boys of the group and, and help those younger, ga younger guys kind of come out on top against that really experienced Livingston team. Yeah, definitely. It was a good game um, to be involved in. Love it. They had a, a strong team. Um, and I don't mind going back to sort of help the younger boys. And I was impressed by them. Um, a few really good performances. Um, they are only young. And I think they'll take a lot for that game. And in terms of Peterhead on Saturday, it's a club that you'll know well, having had a, a short loan spell there. And you know the manager, Jim McAnally, also. Yeah, I had a great time up there. Um, we did end up, sort of, didn't end well, but um, I'm thankful for the people. They're a really good club. Um, they helped me, sort of, develop. Um, I was only there from the January, I think it was. So, yeah, I enjoyed sort of getting the game time in up there, and that helped me. I think I went on to make my debut at St Johnson the season after. So, yeah, I enjoyed it up there. You know that mentality then that the Peterhead players are going to come here with on Saturday, especially against a full-time side and Peterhead coming off the back of a difficult result last week of looking to, to bounce back and, and they'll probably come here, would it be fair and saying, with no fear with, with them expecting them firm to have the pressure on, on ourselves? Yeah, definitely. I think that's, that's how they'd approach the game. Um, I think us being at home, that I think we'll need to dictate and and try and do what we've been doing the full season. Um, try and play quick and play on the front foot, create chances and, and score goals, hopefully. It would have been the end of the quarter this um, Saturday, but of course the Clyde game was postponed. But having played near enough every team coming up uh, this weekend, we'll have a, a, a real good notion of where we are at the start of this campaign. It's been a real positive beginning to, to life in week one. Yeah. Um, it's been a good start, but all it is is a start. Um, still, so much football to be played. Um, but going unbeaten, I think that's the sort of objective. How many games can we go um, and win, or or just not get beat? Um, so I think that's that's the objective, and it'll be tough on Saturday um, if they come to frustrate. Um, I think we need to start the game well and and try and take the game to Peterhead and. And see what brings. The last time I spoke to you pre-match, it was ahead of the Celtic game, and you emphasised that um, the, the defence was the basis for for trying to get these positive results, and that's continued on since then. With only that one week goal conceded against the Adrianians, and and I think is it uh, six clean sheets out of the seven week games so far. So um, again, that statement really does ring true, and you've been able to to keep that consistent form that that you were speaking about a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's important, but I think everyone plays a part in it. For, I think you see the, the work rate the guys higher up the park do, it's, it's phenomenal and it really does set a base for everyone and it helps boys at the back out. Um, so I think that's got to continue, um, that work rate from everyone. Um, but the manager sets those standards and, and those demands and, and that's the other non-negotiables. Non so yeah, it's been... Um, it's been good, but I still think there's, there's more to come. We're adaptable at the back. I'm sure I spoke to you about it again prior to the, the Kelby match, but we've you've been part of a back four and a back three at times. Um, and I'm sure against Falkirk, and maybe you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure at the start of the second half, you, your position would be slightly changed, did it, from a three to a four, and that maybe, uh, maybe allowed you to get forward a wee bit more. Is that yeah, fair? I've, I've been fluctuating between um, right back and, and right centre back. Um, it's no problem I can 
I think with the personnel we've got, it's easy enough for us to shift that in game. So maybe if one's not working, we can easily revert to the other one. So yeah, it's it's been good. Um, trying to learn the centre back one a wee bit more. Um, obviously, right back being a little bit more natural, but. As long as I'm on the pitch and contributing, I, I really don't mind. And just finally, as always, a, a message for the fans. I'm sure they'll be coming out in big numbers again this weekend. Yeah, hopefully. Um, they were great at home at Falkirk. Uh, we never started the game as well as what we would have liked of, but I think the second half was sort of um, a different performance, and you really heard the fans get behind us. So, yeah, it definitely helps, and hopefully, we can put in a good performance on Saturday, keep them coming back.